Hey, hey, hey! This is a boat doctor at the gas station. Put in 25 gallons of non ethanol. This pretty baby blue like my eyes. Mm -hmm. Memorizing, huh? Just kidding. Anyways, that nice blue 1850 top, sides, backdrop. Also, it's got the wind, uh, that front hood cover to keep the glare out. The window pops up on this, bow rail. Got the anchor. You can put in a windlass if you want. With the chain feeds through there. Got an anchor pulpit. Two inch ball. Safety chain for the chicken cross. Okay, two inch. You got a brake on the jack. You got a laser carnet. Galvanized trailer, load guides. I'm going to try to center this thing up. You got a little gap there. This is tight here. And it looks pretty well centered. So they're going to have to actually adjust. Bring that one out maybe a finger away at the part right here where it's touching. Put your finger down there, spread that one out. Bring this one in, finger depth. Or width between like this so then that way there's no way to screw up on loading it you got drain plug drain plug drain plug drain plug you probably shouldn't have any air in the outer ones or that lower one the upper ones are down right there 115 yamaha salt water motor these are the only true salt water protected motors 13 by 15 aluminum right hand rotation looks like they did fire this up there's your oil drain right there. You your exhaust. There's your flush right there. You put your air muscle flush on that. And then you've got a fresh water flush right there. Now that one's only meant you do not start the motor if you just use this one. And if it, if you're peeing good water out of the pee tube right here at the water and you get home and that ain't peeing out, you probably don't have water pressure. Then I put the water mouse, tee it off, and put another hose on that. This is a cable steer. Do not grease this. Use corrosion X on that. That prevents rust, corrosion, uh, from uh, freezing up on you. Grease will make it sticky. So, corrosion X that. Anytime you see any corrosion anywhere, any rust, spray that. Spray the inside of your motor down with that corrosion X. Use salt away. That's another good product to flush your motor out. You don't have to do what they say every time. You know, about every fourth time, maybe flush your motor out. The salt away comes in is like barrel aluminum and on the trailers and flushing the motor out. Stainless prop shaft, drive shaft, two coats of clear, two coats of primer. Uh, your gear oil drain. You check your gear oil right here. Your drain's right here. You got a pickup right there for your speed. So if it, your speedometer fits for some reason, put a little wire up there, a small drill bit. And these also, right here, and almost all motors have this, even the older ones. Say you ran out of battery juice, you got down, motor was down at the ramp. You can do that and turn that screw counterclockwise and that relieves the pressure on that cylinder where you can lift this motor up and then lock it back down again when it stops. Now where I'm going, I'm gonna, well, I turn the batteries off. But I normally undo this just on a short distance, okay? Take the tie downs off, I got my rope on, I got my, my bumper's on, I got the keys, I check the gas, I check the voltage. So when I get to the water, I only have to remember the safety chain and the strap. It kind of speeds up the process. Uh, buddy bearings, by lug. Buddy bearings, maybe going on a trip, check them. And the inside of there, they got like a little... See, they greased them with this spring and this center cap in here. When you grease these, as soon as that center cap or that spring moves, that inner spring quit. Don't keep pumping until that comes to the outside. Then you're going to blow out your bearings. Okay. Radial tires are ST20575R14s. You got two bunks with slicks. Release springs. Anyway, so it's a recommended 90, 140 max. You don't need that 115 plenty. Hello, 90 is plenty. 25 inch transom on the back then you also got uh, four millimeter hole tubes it's um, I think they're a little off on that on the fuel oh I guess so huh 
Anyway, the driveway on this thing is like 1657. I'm just thinking. That's why I'm hesitating. I gotta check something out here. Now that makes more sense, 39 gallons on the tank. That's a lot of fuel for an 1850. Anyway, these things are massive. We got the preflex hole. Boom, boom, boom. You got your reverse right here, under here. That's what keeps it so stable in the water. That acts as an air cushion right up underneath there. Put this baby right here. The automatic build pump, that is something. They kind of had to, they got to fix that, I think. So even with the battery off, the way this their system's hooked up with the hose goes up the water drains back down into a trough and that damn build pump runs constantly so i would probably shift some kind of a shut off switch to kill the power at all times because right now it's running you can see but if i click it to auto bring it back sometimes it will quit But now it ain't, it's just running. So that gets annoying. And that's with the battery switch off. So anyway, you got your speed, fuel management, Yamaha attack, checklist, hour meter, VTS trim, cup holders, I'm gonna poke holes in there so the water drains out, 12 volt power point, USB point, charge your phone, that's kind of nice and what they have that added. Cup holders in that, I'll Hope that's so that drain side right seats these are real nice the captain seats uh not that it matters but if you notice this is backwards i don't know if they got you know at the factory maybe they didn't give the right one because they look the same they just put them in but notice how the latches are on the outside the hinges are here and the seats here so actually the hinges should have been over there so not a big deal you can still open this up Okay, you got a little bait box, or fish box in here. That's pretty big for crabbing. That'd be good for you. Watch down here. Your battery switch is here. I'm gonna kill that. See? That bilge pump is just constantly running. And then your batteries are back here. You got one. And then your primer bulbs are right here. He's been mounting them here. Some people don't like that, where they're right here, but I kind of do. Now I'm going to prime it up because this is the first time I put 25 gallons of non-ethanol in here. There's no carpet in this boat, so that makes it a lot easy to maintain and clean. And then that front window opens up, nice, wide, deep hole. You can actually get, I think as an option, cushions going there. You got your cleat up there. You can mount a seat up there if you wanted to. Kick back like a back a bass style and you can fish right out that front window if you wanted to. And at least the driver got a cup holder. Okay, this is the boat doctor out. This is 1850 Fisher. Beautiful boat, 2021 just came in. Evidently, fish finder on brackets. So that isn't here yet, which normally I don't like to run boats unless everything's on them. Because sometimes with some of the fans here, a depth finder GPS is I got to take to the water anyway. So that just means I got to take it twice. Which in boats like this, I don't care because they're nice. Okay, 2021-1850 Fisher, boat doctor out.